Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we are going to talk about American politics, and we're going to go over the Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, 2024 U.S. presidential debate that happened on September 10th, 2024. Uh, and we're let's break it down. Let's let's dig into what exactly we watched. So, first of all, what was the biggest takeaways? What what was really at stake for Donald Trump and really at stake for Kamala Harris. There really were two different things that people were, there were different set, there are different lists for each one of them. For Donald Trump, I, I don't think there was only one thing at stake. Are you, uh, are you Biden? Can you not speak a single sentence? Can you not walk onto the stage and off the stage by yourself? Are you doddering? are you uh completely checked out right like that's you know like you're you're gonna be another 80 year old president are you completely incapacitated from the perspective of being able to do the job the way biden clearly is now right like uh and uh and the answer was no he was he was extremely he was completely coherent he listened to every question and was able, he was able to listen to the moderators and give like flawless, you know, flawless from the form of co coherent answers, give flawlessly co coherent answers to every single question that the, um, that the interviewers gave and every single comment that Kamala Harris, he was tracking 100%. And this is a big, big deal because it means that that last debate, the Biden-Trump debate, was historic. It really took, you know, it, nobody, I, not even me, I did not think anything that could happen in that debate would change anything. We were all wrong. It really changed everything, right? Like, and uh, and ended the Biden term at one at one term. That would that will be written about in history books. That that debate it was shocking, right? Um, okay, so and that was all that Trump had to prove. That, there was he had nothing else at stake here. Everybody knows all his business because he's covered constantly, right? What did Kamala have to prove? A few things. One, could she stand up and hang with Trump, right? And she got fifteen years on him, but that was a real question. The answer was yes. She was able. She was able to do the same thing. She was able to track all the questions, and give an answer. Get, actually, no, that's not true. Actually, so that, I think yeah, that that's what is stake. Could Kamala answer questions? And this is surprising. This is shocking. Uh, now that we get there, let's let's think of it. No Democrat in no Democrat that has debated Trump can give any answers to any questions. Not none, right? Biden, because he can't understand the question and he can't communicate a coherent response, right? Kamala, because she can't say any of the answers, right? They're like the like the first question was like, "Hey, a lot of people are saying, are here's our question to you: Are Americans better under you and Biden than they were under Trump?" She immediately launched into a long story, not an answer. In fact, throughout the night. Really, every question. Let me tell you about, you know, the question would come out and she'd be like, let me tell you a yarn. Let's all sit down by the gloating stump and uh, I'll bring out the sweet tea and I'm going to give you a long story. Won't have any answers in it. Like, uh, like it just every, say, so the reality is we've reached a point where Democrats cannot answer questions. One, because they can't understand them and they can't coherently respond. Or they know that uh, that the answer is actually a skewer on which they will be spitted, and so it cannot come out of their mouths, right? Because they because they'll be utterly, virtually destroyed, right? Like and and like that was a banger from the gate. They were like, are you know, are people are Americans better under you? You know, Biden, you and Biden have had three and a half years. Are people better under you? And she could not say yes. And and I give her credit. I give her credit that she wasn't willing to lie, because I I expected there to be a sharp yes. Right, it would have been an outrageous lie, right? But like, and that that says something. The fact that she was not willing to lie—that's interesting. That's very fascinating. So the, those are the two things that were at stake. 
Uh, no question, Donald Trump won this this debate. In fact, it really calmed me down, like, because I really was thinking, oh my gosh, there might be a path for Kamala to win. There's no path for Kamala to win. She's, and this was even more like proof that um, Dems are cooked. Dems are cooked. Dems are cooked, right? 450 for 30 minutes, they're cooked in my humble opinion. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennium.